Welcome back sci-fi fans, this is Greg from Greg Reviews Sci-Fi and today we're going to talk about Altered Carbon, the series on Netflix. As you probably know, I've read the book Altered Carbon by Richard Morgan and I liked it. I broke one of my fundamental rules. I usually either pick the show or movie to watch or I read the book. I really don't like to do both because one always disappoints more than the other, right? So if the book is amazing, the show is terrible, or the show is amazing, and, and I go back and read the book, and I don't understand what's going on, or or the characters I like are not there, there's some sort of problem. But I figured since you, the viewer, might enjoy understanding the differences between the book and the show... I would break my rules on this one and dive in. So, what did I think? Well, honestly, the show is not as good as the book. Now, don't get me wrong, the show is great. The show is really, really good, and I think, I think it will have larger implications for the sci-fi universe as we go forward. So let's just talk a little bit about why I say it's not as good as the book. So the book was gritty. It was dark. It, it contrasted the meth's life with the grounder's life so perfectly. And there was no cheesiness in the book at all. It seemed real like it could happen there was no uh you know the raven hotel i mean come on why why would you rename the hotel and the ai poe and raven i mean it just added a cheese factor to the show that 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 hurt it in my opinion um Carnage was like a, I don't know, with the face thing and the, it just, it just wasn't good. I mean, Carnage described in the book, you could tell he was a little crazy, uh, he wasn't quite right, but he didn't seem comical. He didn't seem like, like a 1960s Joker character with the cr crazy colored hair and the flat top and, and, um. Uh, I mean, it almost ruined the show. It, it is so close. But luckily, it pulled out of, of, a, of a kind of a, a weird moment, and it kept bringing us back. You know, I start to like Poe, even though I don't like the, the concept of Poe. I started to like Poe. Um, the technology of the AI hotel is is pretty cool. What Netflix did right with this show is they kept they kept the adultness of it, right? I mean, it's rated R, there's cursing, there's nudity, there's blood. It is not for everybody, but this is a real show. I mean, this is a Game of Thrones kind of show. This is this is I mean, it, it you feel engaged in this show it's it's also you know somewhat complicated so you got to pay attention you know you can't be multitasking while you're while you're watching the show it's just like the book like if if you if you read my review on the book i said it's kind of it was kind of slow in the middle that's just because it was complicated right it, it had a lot of moving parts there's a lot of characters you know takeshi's you know he's he's, he's doing a lot of stuff and he's formulating plans um I was really worried Ortega wasn't going to play a big part in this book or in the show because she was in the book, but luckily she does. When I looked on IMDb, it looked like she was only going to have a few episodes, but thank God uh, they kept that right. The sister is a new concept, which I think was unnecessary. Um, y you know, Takeshi flashes back to his Jimmy, his, his war buddy, 
in the book, but in the show he flashes back to his sister and there's like this humanizing effort. I think that was a bad decision. I think the humanizing of Takeshi really makes him seem weaker than he is in the book. I mean, in the book, um, I mean, he's like a stone cold killer. Like he has no, you know, he, you can tell kind of deep down, he probably has some, uh, emotions, but he, but he fights him. He holds him back. He only shows him to Kristen. Uh, it's, it's, it's really complex and, and, and nice in the show. It's more, I used to have emotions, but I was hurt as a kid and now I bottle them up and I went into the military and when I came out, I'm now I'm tough, but really I'm soft. It just doesn't work as well. The good news is, is that the cast is amazing. So Joel Kinnaman plays Takeshi really well, but I don't think he's long for the role. I mean, if if they really wanted to make this interesting, and I haven't read the the Takeshi Kovacs Chronicles or whatever they call the whatever it's called the rest of the books, but if they it you know if they really wanted to make this thing interesting, they would make it like a Doctor Who where uh, you know he has to get re-sleeved in in other bodies or he goes to other worlds and and or a sleeve gets killed and they cast a new actor. I think that would be it, it would put it in uh, sci-fi greatness land. The Kristen Ortega, I didn't picture her as as how she was cast, but I think the the women of Altered Carbon are unbelievably talented. I mean, Martha Hil- Hilger- Hilgered, Martha Hilgered, and uh, Kristen Lehman like own those roles it really really well but i'm only on episode seven of ten so i still have a lot to do a lot to see but i wanted to get a re- i wanted to review it before i got sucked up in the finale because i'm imagining the finale being amazing and i don't want to do the review after i watch the last episode because it might taint my view of the series i like to i like to you know a little past the middle is a good time to review the series. So let's see what let's see what I gave the review. So not as good as the book. I gave it a, f- a four point four stars or you know four and a half stars. The story I gave four stars, same as in the book. The cast got a four and a half. I think some of them are amazing. Uh, some of them you know are not that amazing, but they probably won't be around long. Uh, costumes, phew, I mean the costumes are are cr- are crazy. The sets are crazy, all really well. The directing, I gave four stars. You know, I think that the directors made a lot of mistakes changing the book. It's just completely unnecessary. Uh, they added a cheese factor that just was, was, was it, I think it hurt the overall story. It didn't add depth or layers or anything like that. It just, uh, I, don't, I don't think it, I think they, they, they took a risk and it didn't pay off. Uh, technology. I backed it down to four stars. I think it was five stars maybe in the book. But I backed it down to four stars because they had a real chance to, to do some special effects that I think were above and beyond in the show. And they didn't. I mean, the cars, the flying cars have like jets that fire out of where the wheels are. It's like back to the futurist kind of cheesy uh, flying car. Uh, so, you know, and then Poe and the Raven, I think. I, I think they really could have done the hotel special. Originality, again, I backed it off a little bit. It was at five stars. I made it four and a half stars. I mean, just for that very reason, you know, they introduced the sister and and, and, and it really started to become more like sci-fi that already exists. It didn't, it didn't, didn't hurt it much, but uh, I, I did feel like it, it took a half a star away. Uh, amazing show. I really like it. I think that if they have a chance to to do some amazing things with it, to, to make it really like a sci-fi royalty show, um, but but they gotta take the they gotta pull the cheesiness out of it. They gotta embrace the sleeving of Takeshi. Um, I think they gotta kill off the sister. He's not gonna be able to do anything if he's got a sister. 
that that he's worried about. Um, and you know, I'll try not to give any spoilers, but but that's what I think. So read the read the review for the book, then check this review out. And if you agree, disagree, put it in the comments. Always subscribe to the video, like, share, uh, and I appreciate all of your insights. And uh, I'll talk to you later.